Hey guys, Paperclip here again, gonna be playing some more EU4 again today as Arabia, where last time we went to war with Aragon and we took over Messina and Palermo. It was at the time before. It happened. We finished westernizing, that was something that definitely happened last time. So we're now all western tech, so that's all fun and dandy. I forget, does that change troops? I think it does. No, it does not change our troops. Not a, that I can tell anyway. Okay, so, like I was saying, want to go to war with Persia next. We're working on a claim with Venice on Crete, because we're hoping we can just threaten war for Crete and get Crete. Because that would give us a lot more money here. Because currently, there's 21, there's 21 ducats worth of money going through Alexander every month. About 10 of that gets pushed forward. Now it's not just Venice who's causing money. More money is getting pushed ways that Venice, is, Venice doesn't want. Like the Papal State, France, Aragon, but the main one being that I can get rid of this trading post here and that would give me probably like 55 plus percent trade power here Let's start doing Messina we gotta convert all these things eventually anyway so the rest of them don't really seem like they're worth even trying to do. Persia's allied with Baluchistan. Don't really care about Baluchistan too much. Warsingali. I'd like to start integrating them, but I have to wait. So let's just keep things going as they are. He is still doing his thing, that's good. Are there other good places for us to be doing these? Anywhere that's plus 0.2, I think would be fine. How about this? Now it looks like we got these everywhere we would want them. Maybe more in like Alexandria. Like 2.7 is pretty good. 1.24 is pretty good. Over here, like, I don't know why we don't have one in Halab. Seven is amazing. Two point four nine is pretty good. Anywhere like that, where it's like really high, I think that'd be a good idea to get that. Yeah, we'll go with them for now. We'll see how that affects things. I'm sure it's not going to be a huge change, but even if it's like an extra percent or two in each one. I mean, what the hell. Yeah, actually, that's going to be really valuable right now. Are you kidding me? I just got a Regency Council for five years. Wow. Okay, fine. I mean, hell, I guess we'll go down. No, I don't want to go down too much because then the Ottomans will get cocky and probably try and go to war with me. But we do have a big ass debt that I kind of want to pay off. Yo, there's some charters. Oh, snap, I can get a ton of money from you now. 
Would I rather use that money to get rid of some corruption? I think so. I think it's going to be a very good idea. So yeah, we're going to use that money to try and get rid of as much corruption as we can. And we're just going to chill out for a little bit. Try and make as much money as we can. Alright, so he's retreating, so let's turn that fort back off, because that'll save us a bit of money. Free manpower, that's nice. Now, Rhodes is pretty far from France. I don't think France would join him, but I don't know. France did join against us, but we do have a connection all the way to like two sea provinces away from him. Do I want to gain more money? I really like the tech up, but yeah, I kind of have to do the money thing for right now. Let's call a diet for you. We could get a ton of extra manpower now. I think that'll be good. I'd also like a general from him, so let's do that, and then we'll do that. And your general is not too bad. He's not great, but he's got good maneuver. The admiral I would like to get rid of. Go back to what you were doing. Rid of you. That way I can roll another general if I decide to. Alright, let's go up in funding, down in corruption fighting. To where, yeah, we break even, that'll be fine. You can take that guy. I'd like to recall from the Papal State. I'd like to go ahead and get a claim on you for, is it Tabriz? Yeah, it's Tabriz. We want Tabriz. I'd like to get a claim on Venice for Crete. Alright, so we don't have to do the whole Venice thing in anymore. I'd like to see... I can't threaten war while I'm at war. Of course I can't. Well, they're going to do pretty well. Is this the Pope's war? Austria is also in a war against him. He does own some things. The Pope owns some things too, like the important center of trade there. Which is exactly what he just took. Oh boy. 
Pope's pretty damn strong. The Pope's basically Italy now. Like, I beat up Aragon while he was in a war with Savoy, and then he took advantage of that weakness and went after Aragon as well, and basically took all of Naples except one province. Now he basically just owns Italy. So the Pope's pretty damn strong right now. He actually has a 52 force limit. It's pretty good for the Pope. These guys down here just come back up. He took care of what you had to do down there, so it's all good now. This thing is getting close to being converted. This one has no progress at all, so take him away. I would also like to get out of negative two stability, please. Thank you. Negative one's still pretty bad, but it's a hell of a lot better than negative two. A 011 Regency Council is like the worst possible Regency Council we could have. I'm going to focus on military just so we can guarantee we stay up to date with it. I would really like Austria to just peace out of this freaking war already. I have a feeling he's going to take a while though, so we should probably just do our war with, war with Persia now. Oh, we have a Regency Council. We cannot start any wars. We cannot threaten wars. We cannot start wars. We can't do anything with the word war in it. Wonderful. I had forgotten about that. In that case, go back to fighting a bunch of corruption and not really paying for the army. Why don't you just maximum fight it? In the next like four years, we should be down to like 14 corruption. embargoed by France. Okay. Well, now we embargo France. Who now loses half of his trade power in this node because of that. That'll give us even more money. What missions do we have? Conquer Gafsa. I mean, maybe. I haven't conquered anything over here in a long time, and they're still pissed off. You guys need to calm down, is what you need to do. Wow, look at Mali. Westernized already. His land's pretty crap, but I'm sure Mali probably still has an okay amount of troops. Or maybe not. Twenty five thousand. That's not too bad. Young poor wants a military, oh, or, um, a royal marriage. We will definitely do a royal marriage with him. Regency Council will go on until 1643. So two more years of fighting corruption. guy actually saves us money and gives us a military point and that just jumped up really high because of why I don't know 
Unless the advisor thing just didn't kick in until the end. Let's improve relations with Horse and Galley. Morocco left the military coalition. Military recruitment has been harmed by the Ottomans. We can lose the stability or a little bit of every monarch point. I guess a little bit of every monarch point at this point. I'm already negative one stability. I don't want to spend a bunch of admin to get that back up because I really need to tech up an admin and military. I need to tech up in everything. Diplo especially though. You know what? Make that a state. Core the whole state. Do we have cores and everything, or no? We don't have a core here, because that's going to cost 170 freaking four. I mean, that's actually worse for me, because I need Diplo points, but whatever. And I now don't have enough admin to correct that. And we can only get one thing. This really isn't that great of a change, man. You know what? And he is a horrible general. This guy is just garbage from every direction possible. The only good thing about him is we can actually declare war now. So Sadia is finally Muslim. Have to get those two. That one. So can I threaten war against him now for Crete? Yeah, and he'll give me Crete. Wonderful. So that's going to help our trade power quite a bit. You see, now we're at 55%. 59%. Yeah, see, now we make a lot more money from trade. Just because we got rid of that. So now there's only 8 ducats instead of almost 10 leaving, so we keep 2 extra ducats every month which pretty much goes straight in our pocket so it's pretty damn good Luchistan will join him. It's fine. Don't really care. I'll put him in charge of that one just so he hopefully dies. He's basically the same tech we are, so why don't we take this guy and bring him over? Because he is better. Uh, what the hell is it called? Where's Mil. Mitija? He will gain two base techs and it'll come under their. Yeah, it's fine. And then we'll just revoke it in a couple of years.
Hey, by the way, I can demand diplomatic support. Why don't I get a minister that I'm not going to use? That way I can get 100 from them. We could go ahead and seek their support. Damn, they're just shy. What if I give them like a province? Can I give them? That's pretty like crappy. But it'll give them enough. That's 40. So I need something that's 7 development. Something like that. I need something that's 8 development apparently. I was wrong. Now if I come in here and demand administrative support, I get a hundred from them. Which means I can now core some stuff. I'm just gonna core Crete right now because it's giving me over extension. You should probably just come right to Kuzistan because it can support both of you. Alright, and let's declare war. Luchistan will join. That's fine. We could just bring in Yonpur for the hell of it. He can't really take any of that land, so you know what? Yeah. We're just gonna bring in Yonpur to make sure that this goes well for us. You guys go to Isfahan. Turn on Damask. Turn on Qatif. Go ahead and get to Katif, man. I mean, if you're set on it, you're set on it. Tabriz is actually a really good development province, too. I really want some of this good land from the Ottomans. That would really kill them for me to be able to get a lot of this. That's not good at all. If the Ottomans take Shervin, I'm gonna have to go to war with the Ottomans. Take at least Shervin and Constantinople from them. Who's Bohemia allied to? I want to go work Bohemia. Yonpur will not join because it's far. Austria, it's the Holy Roman Emperor, so he won't join. Poland is allied to the Holy Roman Emperor, so he won't join. Great. So I basically have to declare a direct war on the Ottomans to have any hope of any of that actually working. He already got Katif. I, I give you props on that one, man. I didn't expect you to get Katif that soon.
I'm gonna start a spine network on him. On the off chance I get lucky that he doesn't have Shervin by the time we can get out of this war. Because if he doesn't, I'm gonna go right for Shervin. Try and get at, because if I can get at least Shervin, I can get Dagestan, and then I don't have to worry about Ganja and Melikates. Actually, you know what? Horse and Gali is fully happy. Let's see what we can do with this. We have almost all of this fort siege down already. Luchistan wants to get out of this war. Sure. Give me all your money and some war reps. And... Oh, I can't get Keda. Okay, fine. That'll be good. Because it's money. It'll help me get this corruption down, so... It also lowers his enthusiasm, because now he has less people helping him. Delhi wants military access? No. I will piece you out for the small price of at least these two. I really want all of them. Because that's its own state. That's what I want, is that state. But I really have to be quick. That way I can hopefully get the Shervin before the Ottomans does. After this battle. Will you give me that? Oh, he's so close. And he already got Shervin. Well, I might as well stay in this and take whatever I want now. Fuck you, Ottomans. I hate the Ottomans so much. I want that now, if that's what you... Now that you did that. No, no, I don't even care about Jalan. I want the things in this state. The state that I already own. I want those. Uh, take the admin. I need to tech up in Diplo, like, pretty bad. And now that means I have a little bit less corruption each month. He would give me those right now. But if you give me those and a bunch of money and some more reps... Almost. He'll almost do it. So pretty much you're saying once your army is dead, you'll do it. So I take it France joined this war against you. Mm-hmm. Give me a moment to get all my troops in position, Austria. I will join this battle. Which means I'm actually going to peace out Persia. Now. For that. I'll move him up to Moosh. Him over to here. He can go to there. You can go to here. And I'm going to start getting a bunch more troops, too. Should I do mercs? Should probably do mercs. Which means I need to stop fighting corruption. Until halfway through April.
End of April. It's the longest I can wait. I accept. So we're in this war against less troops. Aragon's on our side. Austria's on our side. Clones on our side. Poland's on our side. Livonian oil works in Gali, Wurzburg. Me and Austria against France and the Ottomans. Well, let's see what we can do. But that'll be for next time. Sorry for the cliffhanger, guys, but it's about time I call this episode anyway. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, where we're going to try and at least take Shervin from the Ottomans. To be honest, though, I would like to just get Constantinople in this war. Because if we can get Constantinople in this war, it's going to make everything a lot easier for us. Because we can go around Shervin. I can just make Gazim look like a vassal or something. No, I can't. I can do something with Gazimook. But we'll figure that one out when it comes to it. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.